The death of Mr. Brian Sinclair was a preventable tragedy. This 45-year-old Aboriginal man died after waiting 34 hours at the Health Sciences Centre for routine medical care he never received. It should not have happened at HSC or at any other health facility. And we are here today to speak to the report, what steps have already been taken to prevent future tragedies, and how we plan to proceed to ensure that this does not happen to someone else's friend or beloved family member. Judge Preston has provided keen insights and directions on how we can strengthen continuity of care, dismantle silos, and build a more integrated and seamless health system. And more importantly, how to build a health system that looks out for the vulnerable patient. I would like to apologize to Mr. Sinclair's family again today. On behalf of the Winnipeg Regional Health Authority and the Health Science Centre, we are very sorry that we failed Mr. Sinclair. With the inquest conclusion, there remains a strong feeling the care not provided to Mr. Sinclair was driven by stereotyping and discrimination. There's a feeling among many people that this whole process has skirted the core issue of systemic racism in the health system. Do you believe there is systemic racism in the health system? I think we can say that even just in uh, events that have unfolded in this city in other aspects of society, racism unfortunately still exists throughout the cross-section of our society and it would be naive to assume that it does not exist in healthcare. I am committing myself I'm, and working with the WRHA and the other RHAs to do what we can to eliminate it within the healthcare field.